In the wake of the Joseph Prococo conviction, CPV officials repeated their case that the charges, and now conviction, had no bearing on the integrity of their state permits. In an editorial board meeting with the Times Held Record last October, Tom Rumsey, Senior Vice President of External and Regulatory Affairs, said, And when you find that the permits for this plant were challenged in court and appealed, and in the state of New York, the courts of the DEC acted appropriately in issuing the permits. I think that should, I mean, you can be eternally skeptical, or you can ask questions and look for answers, and then when you're given an answer, say that makes sense to me or not. Now, if that doesn't make sense that the court looked at it, and, you know, if, if, if a court reviewing a regulatory body and saying that they acted appropriately isn't sufficient, um, then nothing I say will be. Orange County Executive Steve Newhouse, a Republican who previously supported the CPV project, and Assemblyman Jane Scoofus, a Woodbury Democrat who represents Weyweyanda, both called for the state to suspend the plant's permits after the Pococo jury delivered its verdict. Newhouse had argued the case had shaken public confidence in the state's oversight, regardless of whether the plant's permits came up in court. The plant's opponents agree with Newhouse, but want him to do more than exhort state officials in the press. Pramila Malik, a menacing resident who has led the CPV opposition, and attorney Michael Sussman called on Newhouse to take court action to shut down the plant, arguing it already had proved itself a public nuisance and could now be challenged for official misconduct as well. In a press conference at his law office in Goshen, Sussman declared that time is up for elected officials who have condemned the corruption case but done nothing to stop the project. We're at a point where it's time for government to function. It's time for government to function on many issues in our society, but this is one of them. And the people in this county are frankly sick and tired of the business as usual that's going on here. That is lip service and no substantive action. Malik, a chairwoman for the community group Protect Orange County, which has fought the project on multiple environmental grounds, urged officials to take on the watchdog role that she and fellow activists have played for years. No more excuses from anybody, she said. Talk is cheap. We need action now. Justice may have been served to Joseph Percoco. Justice has yet not been served to the people of Orange County. Yeah. Yes. And it will not have been served until this plant is shut down and we are made whole again. And to the public at large, justice will not be served until we know what transpired in those secret meetings. What were those private email conversations? What did they really include? And I'm not talking about just between how and uh, Percoco and Kelly. I'm talking about the email exchanges with state officials and Percoco and Howe and Kelly. Opponents got fresh support from their cause last month when CPV fired up its plant for the first time and spewed noxious fumes, prompting widespread complaints to the surrounding area and two public meetings, so far with crowds of angry residents. Some elected officials alluded to their operational concerns while addressing criminal ones after the verdict. State Senator John Bonisic, a Mount Hope Republican who represents Weyweyanda and supports the CPV plant, called Prococo's conviction troubling and said he supported increased monitoring of the plant and continued DEC oversight. But he did not raise doubts about CPV's state permits. For Record Online, I'm Eric Liebman.